All right, on the Dell keyboard, when you replace the keys, even along the same models, like for example, a 3120, 3180, and the 5190, uh, they'll share com they'll share keys, but there's so many different variations of those keys, and the uh, hinges are different. The uh, the little latches on the keys are different. Uh, the spacing of the tabs on the keyboard itself is a little different. So you have to be very aware of that. So one thing you need to do is to look at two different things. The first one is, I don't know if you can see this. Okay. If you look right here, these little spaces where the plastic is, is missing, that's kind of a shiny silver chrome looking on this keyboard you also have to look at the spacing of the tabs those can be different among different keyboards uh, and you'll see on this keyboard that uh, that that uh, area that's not covered by plastic is actually the membrane underneath it is black or you know you see black rather than silver and again, you have to make sure that you're aware of the spacing of the tabs and whether those tabs are intact. If they're not intact, you just got to replace the palm rest. So those are things you need to look for. When you get a device in to, to repair it, you look at the uh, you look at the key the key uh, the key hinge and the tab spacing and all that different stuff, and then you just uh, Look at your pulls to see if you have a, a keyboard to match it. Uh, and then I think there's about three or four different varieties, something like that. Same model, says same part number, not the same.